Hey everybody, John Wagdon here with Dev Central, and we're coming to you again with another Lightboard lesson video. And in this edition, we're gonna talk about connection mirroring. Uh, what is connection mirroring? So let me write it up here really quick. So uh, connection, connection mirroring is kind of exactly like what it sounds. Mirroring, okay. So think about this, you have a client who has established a connection with a backend server, and then for whatever reason that backend server dies and the connection is lost. So I'll draw kind of a quick picture here of all that. So you have a client maybe coming into a backend server, and you know as long as that connection stays in place, then everybody's happy. But if that connection goes bad, or maybe the server goes down for maintenance or whatever, you know this thing is gone now then obviously that's not a good time. And you want to establish maybe a new connection with another server, you know, over here that, uh, you know, to, to give that client a good user experience. Um, so with the big IP, the way that you can do this with a big IP is if you have uh, a big IP here and um, IP, goodness, big IP here, and then you can have another big IP. So this is like a, high availability type scenario. So you have two of them. Then if a client uh, comes in, you've got your backend servers back here. You know, I'll just put some S's for servers. Client makes a connection with this big IP. Um, then you can establish connection mirroring between the two big IPs. So for whatever reason, if, uh, if, this, one, if this one goes down, then suddenly this one is now available. And so all of the connection data is now shifted over to this one. So that's kind of the basic idea of, what, of, of how this works. Uh, a few points to make on this is that you set this up, you, you actually identify a self IP. So I'll put a, I'll just write self, self IP on each of these big IP systems. And that self IP is gonna be the, the IP address that each of these has to connect with this uh, connection mirroring. Um, and then also the connection mirroring happens at the traffic group level. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put traffic, traffic group right down here. All right, so let's say for example, this is big IP A and this is big IP B. And let's say there's traffic group uh, one on each of these big IPs. So if big IP A goes down, traffic group one on big IP A um, used to handle all the connections here, then there would need to be a traffic group one also established on big IP B. And as, as soon as this one goes down then everything gets shifted over to big IP B traffic group one. So this is, again, this is handled at the traffic group level. And in fact, um, the way that the big IPs are set up with connection mirroring, you can handle up to 15 active uh, traffic group um, connection mirroring sessions uh, all at simultaneously. So up to 15 of these things can be established. And so that's kind of a cool thing. All right, so a few things to, uh, to consider as well on different protocols is that you ideally you wanna set this up for protocols that do not allow for failover or for failure uh, within the, the session itself. So, um, so things like FTP, or uh, Telnet are some good options to do connection mirroring for. So I'll put a little check mark by those guys. Uh, for example, HTTP, the protocol itself allows for some failover uh, you know, between requests. And if there's a failure in a, in a single request, then the session is not completely lost. So HTTP, I'm gonna put an X next to that because the protocol itself kind of allows for some of this uh, failover to happen. Um, however, again, for long-lasting sessions, for long-lasting connections like FTP and Telnet, you would, this would be a great candidate to use. Um, the, uh, the overhead that would be established to do this on an HTTP type connection is not as good, so we don't recommend it for HTTP. Um, okay, so uh, one other thing that I'll mention in version 12 and beyond, there's also the option for SSL connection mirroring. And so any kind of SSL connection uh, that's established in this whole scenario would be able to fail over as well. So 12.0 and above uh, is, a, is, is kind of a cool thing. You can, any, any kind of SSL termination, you can have connection mirroring on that. Um, I know I've talked about connection mirroring. Uh, so all the connection data that, that is established here on one big IP is transitioned over to the next one. It's seamless. 
uh, the end user doesn't, un doesn't know that, that there's the failover has happened. Uh, also, persistence data is, uh, is transitioned as well. So any kind of connection and persistence data is, uh, is mirrored from here to here. And so uh, one, other, one other note that I'll make about the Big IP system itself is that the hardware platform has to be identical between one Big IP and the next. And that, you know, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Let's say this is a, a higher end Big IP hardware system and you're gonna hand all of the connection uh, and persistence data to maybe a lower end Big IP hardware system. Then this lower end may be like, hey, I can't handle all that stuff. So anyway, they have to be identical hardware platforms. Um, so again, for protocols like FTP, Telnet, connection mirroring is a phenomenal idea. That way you don't have a user out there, maybe in the middle of a Telnet session, trying to you know, configure something, uh, or maybe an FTP doing a lot of big file transfers, and all of a sudden it's like, man, you, the file transfer just stopped right in the middle because one of the servers went down or whatever. Um, so connection mirroring, a great idea for those kind of protocols. For HTTP, we don't recommend it because of the overhead uh, that would be involved on a protocol like HTTP. So anyway, so get out there. There's, uh, there's some resources that we can connect to or, or, uh, or identify uh, in the footnotes of this video, and, uh, and you can learn all about connection mirroring. And like I said, for version 12.0 and above, you can do SSL uh, termination, SSL connection mirroring, uh, which is a really cool feature. So get out there, check it out. Hope you've learned a little uh, something here today. Thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video, and we will see you guys out there in the community.